Hiya, I'm Barry, and I make videos on cute and casual games. Today I'm going to be sharing with you an almost complete fishing guide to Kinseed. Bear in mind that Kinseed is an early access game and changes constantly, so some of the things I say may no longer be accurate, but can still be generally helpful. So let's get started. The first step to fishing is getting a fishing rod. On your first day in the game, you will receive an invitation from a guy who lives in Dreamerwood, which is just above your farm. Once you get there and talk to him, he'll give you a fishing rod which you can use to catch a pond lurker, one of the most common kinds of fish in the game. As I play the game on mouse and keyboard, I can't speak for controller, but instructions will show up on the right side of the screen. You need to hit the shadow of the fish, and you'll be able to catch it and reel it in by holding the right mouse button. If you don't hit the shadow, you can let your line rest and see if anything swims up to it and hooks itself. You can ripple the water by pressing Q, but I'm not entirely sure how it affects the way the fish swim, but it does. I do find it faster to simply reel your line back in and recast. After catching a pond lurker from the nearby pond, bring it back to Twig and gift it to him. This grants you the skill item hook and lets you fish for things other than fish. This is especially helpful in collecting proverbs or pieces of paper with helpful one-liners that give you information on items where to find them and how they can be used. Every time you catch a fish, you gain an experience point going towards your fishing rod level. You can check your progress and level in your inventory, and it also shows up as a small bar beneath your rod every time you hook a fish. Each rank or level will grant you specific bonuses. I've taken the screenshot from the Kinseed wiki and I'll link the page down below. The next quest for Twig involves catching five different fish. For fish locations in this video, I'm telling you based on a combination of experience, scouring the internet on Reddit, Discord, and Wikis, or wherever I could find some information. The locations I list might not be the only area you can get the fish, but it's an area where I'm sure that it's there. So Firefish shows up on Goddess Day in ponds. You can catch these guys in Rivermore. River trout are found in rivers, as is their name in the veil during the evening time. This is before 9 p.m. Minnows are available in the mornings in summer down. Bluefish can be caught in summer down, but not in spring, so only during the summer, fall, and winter. Rainfish, as the name implies, are only catchable on rainy days. After giving all the requested fish to Twig, you'll get the drag to catch skill. This makes it so that you don't have to hit the fish shadows to catch them. You can overshoot your throw and you'll catch them on the way back when you reel it in. This only works with dark shadowed fish and I'm not entirely sure why, but this is speaking from my experience. The next quest for Twig involves getting three of three different kinds of fish at at least two star quality. I'm not entirely sure what affects fish star quality. But barbels, you can find them in the mellow fields during the evening. Moonfish, as their name implies, are only catchable at night and pike you can catch in the mellow field. Finishing this quest grants you a larger catch radius. The last quest for Twig, you will need to catch 5 eels that are at least 3 star quality. Eels you can find at night in rivers. I tend to do this in Tirnarnog because there's just a massive river there, but there's also a town which has a lot of rivers. I happen to catch all my 3 star eels on a rainy night, so I think rain adds star quality to it. Handing this into Twig will grant you the lure skill, which gives you a larger nibble radius, which I believe plays into letting your line rest and pressing Q, but I'm not entirely sure. If you have any more info, feel free to leave it in the comments below, but that's about it for this video. Let me know if you found this video helpful by pressing the like button below. If you want to see more Kinseed content, let me know in the comments, and subscribe to my channel. See you!